Hello peeps, hope you're all well today. Um, just a couple of things. Uh, I'm really sorry about the video yesterday. Um, you know, my tripod was decided to take a crap. <laughs> um, and I was really, really annoyed. Um, but I did want to get that video out to you. So, um, you know, so that's why I, you know, I carried it on as it is so I, was, I, I hope it's okay for you and you managed to do the napkin flowers um so that was one thing i wanted to say um i'm just going to show you quickly what i'm doing here um i was going to film this in fact i still might i might just put it down and, and film it um let me have a look let me see if i can just move my camera down i apologize if we have any Bits and bobs is in the way. Okay, now I've just got gesso all over me. Right. Just let me see if I can sort this out. Let's move that. <laughs> right, I'll just show you this quickly. This is a, a stand that I got for my um, pin cushion dress form. And it was a bit, it's a bit naff at the bottom. So, what I've done is, I've just um, put a, a coat of gesso on it. Um, now, for those people, you, you probably have, and you're probably going, what you're talking about. But for those people that maybe don't know, gesso is like a primer. Um, and if you were putting paints um, on things, say... Uh, um, then this would be a good idea to do put it on this fair put this on first and then your primer on top now my intentions are to i'm going to get my heat gun out in a minute and i'm going to thingy it dry it and then i'm going to maybe spray it with some paints um see if i can get a nice color for it uh my dress form is pink blue and red I suppose you know um, but it's more pink than anything so I might just see what I've got in the way of uh, spray paints this is all the fluff off the inside stuffing off the inside because <laughs> I just took it out um, so um, now don't worry because if you haven't used gesso before like I say it's a primer and when you've done say like a coat on something and then you think well I can see through it still I can still see you know the bottom yes you can um, that's the old idea <laughs> um, some people use it on canvases uh, I'd, I use it a lot on canvases um, you know because it's, it's a primer I put it on my canvas before I put any of my paints on um, because not not only is it a primer, but it's a very good, you know, it gets the paint to stick to it, whatever it, you know, whatever it is uh, on it. Right, I'm just going to be a moment, guys, and I will we'll come right back. I'm just going to get some paints. Right, did I put that on? You were back on. You were back on. Right, so I've just got some paints here, and I've just put plugged my heat gun in. So I'm just going to. It's pretty quick drying as well, Jesso. Um, I did find. Excuse my dog. Somebody must be out there. But I, I live. Um, I have allotments behind me. So uh, she's always barking because there's always somebody there. Um, so just while I'm doing this, we'll have a bit of a chit chat. If you have any questions, you know, um, anything you want to know. Whether it be about crafting or you know um, anything else, you can you can always leave a comment below um, or you know email me. Um, you know if you have anything that you're not sure of or you want to just chit chat, then there you go. You can do that. Uh, like I say, I was sorting my because you see this. Uh, the, I'm filming now with my phone camera, um, which is like, it's really good. But 
my camera that I normally do it with um, like I say it's pretty good I, I usually have it on the desktop here and then you know uh, and it you know it does really good but the, it, it isn't on a big tripod it's only a little tripod maybe about as big as that in fact I don't even think it's as big as that and um, yesterday it decided um, you know guess what tone I'm not going to work today so I had to put it kind of in front of me here you know and it was a bit um, distorted and, and a bit crappy so I do apologise for that but like I say I did want to get the um, video out to you and that was the only way I could think of at the time okay so that coat of gesso is dry and I put another coat on this uh, gesso away um, now when you do get gesso it's entirely up to which one you get uh, this one is studio acrylics um, it's a universal primer there's a liter in it gesso I think I got this off I think it was Amazon and it was on Amazon and um, it was I think it was quite dear I'm not sure if it was uh, £10 but have a look might have come down might have gone up but that's your gesso so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dry this off again see really this could be a second tutorial if you want to do anything like this then you, you know so I'm showing you what to do uh, so just put that second coat on if you think it might need it um, I'll throw it on my dog in a minute I think yeah, put too much on there let's have a look at that because I'm going right through the bloody paper right now when it's on the second coat what I normally do is before I fully dry it I get uh, a baby wipe and I dab on the second coat before it's dry just dab it and what it does is it just gives it a bit of texture when you put your paints on you don't have to rub it just just dab it like so how much test you know t test yeah text yeah <laughs> you want i'm just gonna take a bit out there because i've put a bit too much gesso this has got grooves you see so it's clean that I'll just put another wipe under and i will carry on drying it's always best if you can as well to um put something under your mat when you're you know um using gesso like i say i i have a, a baby wipe and i stand it on the baby wipe now i'm i was gonna do the bottom but i i'm not gonna bother with the bottom i don't think um it's a bit pointless i think really but what i will do is i will just get the paint the gesso off this brush on the bottom it don't have to be great because nobody's gonna see it um but you don't know, just, there we go. So it was just really to get that off the brush. So gesso on the bottom. And then if I stand it down there, it should get some texture as well. Yeah, there you go, you see. So I'll probably just leave that bottom um, like that. Yeah. So once your gesso is dry, thereabouts, you can carry on and do your painting or spraying um, now I've got some some colours here but I'm, I'm unsure what I want to use burnt sienna hmm, what's that one burnt umber oh no, that's a bit what's this one let's have a look pearl frosted mint now I don't know if you know but I make my own um, paint 
uh, when I say I make my own, um, I go to my local Boise's or the range and I get some acrylic paints and what I do is I mix them with water I put maybe you know just a little bit in the bottom put a little bit of water in check it see how it is you know and that's what I do um, so there's another tip for you if you want to do that okay let's try a bit of this this is pale frosted mint that don't want to come out <laughs> Okay. I haven't used these paints for a while, so um, might be a little bit clogged, but I'm not going to worry about that. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's not bad, that actually. So this is what I do as well. I'm not going to go mad because it'll go all over the bloody place, but flick it on, put it on, and then, you know, Flick it around just as you see me there. And then I'm gonna just dry that. Let it drip and dry and go into the oils wherever it wants to go. It's not bad that actually, I quite like that. I'm not sure about it being in there, but we'll see. And just dry, you know, you don't need to go mad because it will it will go wherever it wants to go in the end. But the gesso just helps you know when you're doing this so you know it's got that bit of sheen to it as well because this um this is metallic so it's got that bit of uh metallic in it as well okay what should can we have with that what's this pale powder blue okay so like i was saying i meant my own paint so if you see me doing this it's because all the, all the metallic stuck at the bottom um actually this isn't metallic but that one was the one that got there so so just go in with your second coat wherever you want it oh it smells quite nice that <laughs> i just got a whiff of it and then again in with your eat gun now it's up to you how many you want to put on and you don't even have to spray it on if you didn't want to you know, put it on and use your brush. It's in, you know, it's entirely up to what you want to do. Okay. You know, there's no preference. These are just colours that I'm just picking out at random. You know, and uh, just spraying on. So yeah, I thought I'd try that blue because I have got a bit. Of, well, it's a bit darker, but I have got some dark blue in there. So that looks quite, that looks quite nice that I see. I don't know if you can see that very well, but let me put it up there. You can't see the detail very well, but it looks like purpley and it's really nice. So let's have a look. Um, I did say I was going to put some pink in, didn't I? All right, let me try some rose. I think I've only got this one. Oh, I've got metallic rose which looks red <laughs> metallic rose oh i'm not sure now uh, or oh, dusty rose i've got some dusty rose <laughs> that's uh that's the metallic one as well i think it's all stuck at the bottom <laughs> uh no that's a little bit too dark all right let's have a look at this one this is uh, just rose this one Oh, oh, flipping heck. Well, that threw me. Didn't expect it to come out that nice. <laughs> All you need to do is, while you're drying it, keep it rolling as well and tapping. And bit the paint will go wherever it wants to go. You know? Quite liking that, actually. I might just put a little bit more blue on and, well, the dusty, or, or the pale mint. And then we're, we're a bit away then, aren't we? And um, the other thing as well is your paints, the acrylic paints dry pretty quick as well. Now, what I'm going to do is 
I'm just going to get my thing out of here and just put a bit around the outside um, you know and just brush it with my brush so I get a bit of a pink outside as well and I'll do exactly the same with the blue you know because I don't it's okay like that but then you get like it gets a bit silly <laughs> You end up with about a thousand colours. Um, so, like I say, it's only preference. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You know. I might as well stick some on the bottom there now as well, seeing as I've just dabbed it all on. You said you cow turn, eh? Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Um, so, like I say, it's your own preference. Whatever you want. You know, whatever colours you um, want your, whatever colours you want there, I just painted the bottom. So let's try a bit more of that um, pale frosted mint. Like I say, it's metallic this, I can see the sheen on it. So let's try that. Too much on there. But it looks quite nice actually. It's gone into all the bits, so it's like I like it when things do that. But I have put a bit too much on. But then when I look at it like that, I haven't because the pink's coming through. So what I might do as well is when I've actually when this is when I've dried this off, I might just get my paintbrush and paint in another colour. Just bring out some of these features that are on the bottom of this. There's some really nice leaves on the bottom of here. It seems a shame. So I will, in a minute, grab my brush and bring them little features out with, I think, the blue. I think I'm going to try the blue, the blue that I had. Um, oh no, that one, that one. Did I have a blue? I did, yeah, there it is. I was going to say, I could have swore I had a blue. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take the top off. Um, so you just got this. And I'm just going to dab some bits on. I to be a bit thinking with that. Because the, um, you know, the... It's a shame because the things on it are really nice. Some of the features. You know, just I've just got a whiff of this paint. And I actually thought it was the dog. And it inch this paint. Bloody stinks. Right. Just smell like sweaty parts so what I'm gonna do now is I've put some of that on I'm just gonna lightly brush on each, each side that I've put it on and then like so and then that looks quite nice now you see I've got some colors in there I'll just bring it up so you can see it should if it goes blurry I do apologize it should focus itself in but I've got some colours in there now, instead of being, because it was just plain horrible white before. So that's, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I don't think I'm going to put any more colours on it, because I don't think it needs it. Um, bronze. Oh, Rose, we've had that one, haven't we? <laughs> Believe it or not, they call this one flesh. I think this is metallic as well. Um, well, they call it flesh, I don't know, because I never know my skin colour to be like that. It's not, is it? <laughs> Let me just try a, a little bit of this. See if I can get them on these flowers here. The, not the big ones, I've just done the other ones. See if I can do the same as what I did a minute ago with them. 
you see as well you you know you don't have to brush you know um dab if you don't want to brush with your paintbrush just dab it i'm actually gonna dab it because I've just looked and it's got a better effect when I dab it, so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. So now I've got a, a bit of, ooh, I've got a bit of that colour now, you see, this one, this flesh, so I'm just going to, am I going to, yeah, I'm going to dab it. It's better dabbed. <laughs> I'm just going to dab it on the ends of the pink leaves for that effect and I'm also just going to do it around the top there yeah I'm quite happy with that so we'll just dry that off um, make sure as well that you know it is fully dry before you put your doll back on or your dress foam because you don't you know you don't want it to go on your dress foam I know it will with one of these because it doesn't go right up there anyway like man there it stops there so but you know you don't want anything like that any mishaps so please do be careful and um, also if you are watching this um, and you are um, you know you're under a certain age if you, you know if you're a child please please get an adult to help you and um, because it's a heat gun and it's very very hot okay so you know um, if you are watching this then please I'm not gonna spray that <laughs> I was just gonna just thinking about spraying it which change your mind uh, yes please please get an adult to help you because you know it is it's hot it's a heat gun and it's very very hot okay right so that's near enough dry now so i can show you that um it should focus in guys it'll blur out and then it'll focus in i think but isn't that pretty it's just it's different i think it's different and like i say these orange ones well, that's better, isn't it? These orange ones, I just did at the end. Well, you can see it, how they pop with the pink. And then I just put a bit of the orange on the edges of the of the outer ones and pink. Then you've got some of that mint in the grooves there, so it kind of sets that off as well. So I quite, yeah, I like that. I do like that. So there you go. So, guys, there is your tutorial on how to do a dress foam stand with acrylic paints. And Jesso, please give me a thumbs up, guys. If you haven't already subscribed, then please press the button. And I will see you very soon. Bye, guys.